Greetings, timeshare travelers. I'm uh, doing a review of the Worldmark Schooner Landing. Um, it's lo located in Newport, Oregon. That is about uh, just west of Corvallis, um, just slightly northwest of U Eugene, Oregon. And I couldn't figure out a better a way to take the video of why you would come and stay here. Um, so what I'm gonna do and, uh, is go through the room um, going to describe that then I'm going to show you the points uh, charts how much it costs to stay here and then I'm going to leave you with a beautiful view of the sunset view that I took last night but let me just pan a little bit it's a little bit afternoon and there's only three or four people on the beach uh, walking around enjoying it like me so without further ado um, here is the video of the room and I'll be back shortly to talk about the points and then leave you with the bonus video happy timeshare traveling Welcome to Schooner Landing. This is a one bedroom. Happens to have a loft. Let me walk you through. Okay, when you first come in, you see a really nice large living room with a TV and a fireplace. Nice couch, chairs, table for four, and nice, nice light. And I wanted to point out that there's a nice large arched ceiling and they have an area over here, like a wet bar, and there's a deck which uh, has a view of the parking lot. And then the kitchen, long kitchen, double sink, which is great, dishwasher, plenty of cabinets, refrigerator, full stove, microwave, all the usual things you would expect. Very nice counter space. Um, okay, and now um, go into the bathroom. Have a double sink, large mirror, and you have a jacuzzi tub with shower and toilet. And then looking into the master bedroom, you have a king size bed. Plenty of dresser space and closet space. And a TV in the corner. And then we'll go back through and look at the sort of bonus room, which is great for one bedroom. It has a loft. which would be great for other people saying, I believe that has two beds, one pulls out from below. It's like almost like bunk beds, a chair, and looks out over the living room area. So that's the schooner landing in Newport, uh, Oregon, on the Oregon coast. Uh, wonderful, wonderful place. Well, welcome back. I hope you enjoy the, uh, the view of the room. Um, I'm back here, down here on the ocean, so I want to talk a little bit about the uh, cost to stay here. Now, so again, I'm using points, and I happen to be in the uh, um, blue season you see off to the side. I've got the points chart up, and I'm staying in a one bedroom that uh, actually has a loft, so it sleeps six, and you saw that in the uh, video. So my maintenance fees turn into about $80 per, per thousand, um, and I happen to be staying Sunday uh, through Thursday. So really I'm spending about uh, 500 points a night or about $40 a night. So personally, I can't imagine uh, coming anywhere close to that. So if you happen to be a Worldmark owner, this is also available via in, uh, interval, um, but it's uh, probably difficult to get in because uh, it was difficult to get in just as a Worldmark. But again, about uh, $40 to $50 a night uh, for a two bedroom during the low season and even during the high season, it's only $100 a night uh, if you stay here all, all week. Um, and if you stay Sunday through Thursday, it's much less than that. So anyway, I hope you enjoy that. I have a bonus. I'm going to leave you with uh, a beautiful video of a sunset here that I took yesterday. So I hope you subscribe to my videos. Um, there'll be many more reviews coming. Without further ado, happy timeshare traveling.